Hey everyone, in this video today we're gonna see how we can make a solid from this mesh and in the same time we're gonna fix these perfections on the surface and you have here this kind of distortions or just high frequencies mesh in this place. Let's go ahead and start. First we're gonna go to edit this mesh and I'm gonna select only the place I want to adjust it with my pen selection and right click on edit now select around this faces to delete the extra edge or the extra faces here right like that and I'm gonna repeat the operation Let's just make this fast. I'm just deleting around the original mesh to make it free to delete these other bodies. Like that. Now I have ability to delete them so easily. Okay, don't worry if I just got too much with delete. I'm gonna use the quad fill to fill these gaps. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this guy, flip the, the selection and delete the other bodies okay now I'm gonna go to bridging so select between two edges and I'm gonna go to quad fill so select any edge and quad fill it or you can select any face between them and quad fill also it's gonna fill the two gaps like that we have this tiny open area here delete these quads around it and re quad fill and we got another one here do the same delete around and select any edge quad fill okay for now I'm gonna accept this so you can see the difference between before and now and we have this just small little faces open so I'm gonna select them also this area only and edit then go to quad fill again so it's that simple now press ok now I'm gonna make sure that this part is fully closed to convert to solid so I'm going to select my body by removing the base selection and make sure I just select the bodies and select this whole body then right click and edit then go to power servicing RE menu check isolate open edges so I have no open edges here so which is mean that good now I'm going to accept that and you can see we have just like three areas here having some small perfections we're gonna smooth them now okay so I'm gonna accept and to make it fast while working I'm gonna select only the areas that I need to smooth them so those are the three areas I want to smooth them I'm gonna select them all and I'm gonna right click and edit so first I'm gonna go to select all these and press relax then you got it smoothed then if I just need a little more I can make some adjustments with my pinch relax so it's gonna give me more accurate smoothing Okay, now let me just check this place. It might need more relax. So I'm gonna select it and do a relaxing here. Okay, that's good. 
now accept and I think we are good to go now to the next step and it's the full smoothing with the mesh smooth feature so I'm gonna press on the mesh smooth now and make adjustments here like maybe two and one and a half show be view and you gonna see a tiny smoothness because I don't want it to lose the details here okay that's that's good for me for now now it's time to just save it I'm gonna save as a proxy box and then go to edit again and remove my box I just added okay now let's go to the next step and it's quad wrap I'm gonna use it at 0 0.9 with five sided selected and press OK here we go just checking around that everything is good and I'm gonna shrink wrap with 0 and show review Okay, <clears throat> that looks nice now. I'm gonna accept that and let's check the distance to see if the board is just sitting quite good with the mesh. And it looks perfect. Now let's convert and see what we got. So it's here telling me that if I need a bar body or bar future so I need to keep it as bar future so I'm gonna press no and you can see that we have just the knob in surface here prevented from being solid so I'm gonna go to evaluate and check surfaces to make sure that's the only surface that opened you can see it here and go to edit again my sub D And here is this area. Let me see why it didn't work out. So okay, I have this surface looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna delete these faces and recreate it. This is so simply just select any edge and use the quad flow. Right. Now I'm going to select them all and make sure it's just constrained with the face. Okay, and I updated the shrink wrap and here is the results. And after conversion you can see now I have my solid so let me just use the section view and as always we can use the SOLIDWORKS tools to make any cuts or extrudes let me just add a circle here and extrude cut. Alright, so that's what a quick video showing you how you convert the mesh to a solid and we just did some uh, fixing or refinements to the mesh. So it will have some perfection or distortions on the surface and we generated a nice solid with uh, the bar surfacing RE tools and see you next video.